Hi everyone. I kind of feel like we're about to start on some race. There we go, off. Um, I initially thought because the phone was really crackly I'd have to talk about Pokemons and Pikachu and I'm quite glad that um, I'm not. So I'm going to be talking about the Happy Project uh, and particularly how um, new technology prompted the idea and then set us on the course um, uh, that we're now on. So this is the Happy Project. Basically, it is a competition to find and fund an idea that brings happiness to other people. And there's 12,000 bucks up for grabs. And so the focus is not on your own happiness, but other people's happiness. And it all came around because of the internet. I was randomly searching um, videos and I came across this beautiful flash mob. Um, and it was set in uh, Liverpool Street Station in Paddington, dark, grisly day. Some guy puts a stereo down and starts uh, dancing. Everyone gives him sly looks, thinking, who's this weirdo? Uh, and then it transforms into this beautifully choreographed dance moment and it made me feel very happy. At the end of it, though, I find it's actually a T-Mobile ad I was still happy, but I kind of thought, I've just kind of been heart raped. But still, 38 million views. So still this beautiful thing went out there and, and lots of people saw it. And then I started thinking, you know, why is this connection with happiness and brands? And I looked around and it's freaking everywhere. All these advertisers want to connect their brand with happiness. And you see it in some Coke. You tell me, who has drunk a can of Coke and gone, man, I feel so happy now? doesn't happen. And I saw, it, I saw it all over the place. The things that make me happy are teaching my daughter how to swim. It's beaches, it's surfing, it's my friends, it's my family. <laughs> this was just a hilarious moment. She thought she was absolutely capable of standing up in about metre high surf. She wasn't. She got washed away. Um, so, <laughs> so my brother and I decided to take a bit of a leap and, and do something about this. And this is actually him and I swimming off the um, rock ledge at Tamarama, which is where we go all year round to go swimming. It, it brings a lot of happiness to both of us, partly because we push each other in and get bashed around by the waves. Um, but it's a really nice thing for him and I to do together. And so we thought, all right, let's do something. Let's do something that's just about happiness. It's not branded. Um, it, it's really not about us. It's about other people. And so we started trying to think, what on earth might we do? You know, what, what could possibly bring, bring happiness to other people? And so we started thinking about it and talking to other people and it was actually really difficult. We thought, oh, we could do another flash mob like the T-Mobile thing. We thought, oh, it's already been done. So we started coming up with some ideas and workshopping, that, workshopping them and um, the first idea we had was this thing called Animal Suit Pursuit. And the idea was that you'd get loads of people dressed up in animal suits, you'd all go down to Centennial Park and you'd have a race and everyone would be in their animal suits and they'd be screaming and there'd be pandas and there'd be dogs and there'd be everyone running around and basically a big chance that a whole lot of people to get together, have some fun, chase people around. We tried this but it, but it rained so we went bowling. The other idea we had was to do some... Um, crowdfunding uh, and getting people to think of beautiful ideas that might prompt people to think about happiness. You know, for example, it might be something like um, money doesn't bring happiness. It might be some message and then you crowdfund enough to get it put up on a big billboard and the bigger the better. And there are some beautiful examples of other things happening out there, but like the Holy Colour Festival that some of you might have seen. People racing around, um, throwing colour in the air. There's music and it's all about community and, and fun. Um, some of the most important things. So we thought, great. And then we thought, oh, what do we know? Let's do a competition. So we got these fabulous judges, Edward de Bono, that many of you will know, great lateral thinker, written many books on happiness. On the right-hand side, you've got Dasho Kinley Dorji from Bhutan. Uh, he is um, part of the government of Bhutan and a big proponent of gross national happiness, which the kingdom does there. Vince Frost and Anna Waldman. And then we thought, Let's, let's open this up to everyone. So we wanted to um, put it online and really get as much publicity as possible to see what ideas you people had, other people had, about bringing happiness to other people. And uh, so we've teamed up with Possible, and so we're going to have um, the judges shortlist two entries, put it up in Possible, and then see what everyone else thinks should be the winner, so a popular vote. And we've already got some great entries from all around the world. 
But some of the things that we learnt about happiness on, along the way have been very interesting and, and tie in with new technology in a number of ways. One is altruism. And we found that the more you do things for other people, the better you feel yourself. People who work in charity and philanthropy people know what I'm talking about. And weirdly, we've found it with this project. We've, we've actually been really happy doing this project. It's been really fun and exciting. We've also learned that it's about community. It's, it's about people. And having people around you that you can help and can help you when you're in trouble and people to share experiences. And online does provide a community of sorts, but I'll come back to that in a second. We also learned about kind of what it's not really about. It's a little bit vexed because there have been studies that showed that up until a point money makes a difference and in the US the study showed that it was about 70 grand and after that it didn't make any difference how much money you made compared to how much happiness you have, although spending money on experiences and other people can help. Big study on Facebook too that looked at whether the community on Facebook made people happy and what they found was that for, particularly for younger people, envy was the biggest emotion that came out of Facebook because people put up these kind of very perfect lives on Facebook. Here's me, I look beautiful and you know, you've been photoshopped and it's impossible. So Facebook, not actually fantastic for happiness. So that's the happy project in a great race through. Um, there's 12 grand up for grabs and uh, it's open till um, December the 15th and we're really stoked that Channel 7 has just said that they want to do a bit of a a uh, bit of coverage on it, so we're hoping the message will be spread more broadly. Thank you very much for your time.